Hello guys. Well, the public update preview just dropped. Well, not just, but earlier today. Um, I already looked over it, and I like a lot of the changes. Um, I think a lot of them are good. Mm, I think they'll have more changes. I think they're hiding some things from us. Um, because they don't want to let everything out in the public update preview. And I bet there'll be more when the actual update comes out. Uh, I already updated the PUP and I looked through it and stuff. And they have pretty good descriptors here. Um, I'm just going to go cursory, like kind of go over it. Not like super in depth because I think, I think a lot of it kind of speaks for itself. And probably a bunch of you already read it. I'm going to go over the main things that I think uh, will affect like free-for-alls and big team game kind of things. The, the, this card is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, it's been good, at least. And the slight nerf, that's fine. Uh, fur trade doesn't really affect much. All the natives have been nerfed, like their, not the natives, like the, 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 how, how to, the Lakota, Aztecs, Inca, all their, like, warrior priests and those kind of things, all of those have been nerfed. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think those needed nerf, but whatever's that's that's fine for me. Nothing really here matters. I don't think anything here matters. It's general fixes and stuff. Nothing that'll really affect you. Except one thing that is interesting is now like the two surgeons spies and stuff. All that's infinite. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that's, that's just general fix, range shock infantry, that's a, they have a new icon for, like, Eagle Runner Knights type units. Um, it says infantry units like Eagle Runner Knights, as far as I know, Eagle Runner Knights are the only ranged, um, shock infantry, so that's, that's interesting to me. Uh, now, all those, like, multipliers that villagers have against shrines and such are boosted or you can actually see them now they have their own icon for that um walls are all nerfed due to all mortar type units having a 2x against them now so i think that's a very good walls are definitely too strong and well they're too weak to like general units but not strong enough but they're too strong versus the like mortars and such like that so i do like that um Nothing really here that matters that much. Uh, Landschnet, that is one that I saw. It's pretty interesting because they have been dropped down to two population spots, but now their stats are based off age two stats. So they'll not be as good like in like in game and such, but they are two pop instead of three. Light infantry units. This um. I think basically all skirmishers are now better against ranged cav. Or uh, against, uh, sorry, like light range cav or whatever. So I think all those will be slightly better if I'm reading this right, which I very well may not be. Um, and and in, in game, it seemed to be, that's sort of how it worked. I saw the, the new British... Ranger, which has more range and more multipliers against heavy infantry now, had 2.5 against light range cav, which is pretty insane. The Gorona Knights have been nerfed entirely. I'm not sure why. Aztecs, I don't think, basically the main thing strong about them were was the rushing. I don't think Gorona Knights were a big problem. So I'm not sure what the point of that was. Manor houses have been made to be more expensive. Rangers, yeah, it's more against uh, infantry and such like that. Three settlers, age one, removed from home city. I think that's pretty good because British have a very strong age one now with the Green Witch time, which Green Witch, sorry, time, which now arrives fast. So you won't be getting those villagers much, but you will get the Green Witch time a lot faster. Um, houses are slightly more expensive, but Virginia Company is still about the same. Chinese disciple against mercenaries. I think that's pretty cool. Keshek target lock feature that's necessary. Nothing else really there I care that much about. The armor for all their hand cap will be slightly less. So, you know, whatever. That's fine. 
Uh, bank hit points reduced. I think that's good. Banks are a little too tough. Um, Envoy unit shipped to that increased to two. That that's cool. Uh, this will make a big difference. Twenty five percent up from twenty percent. That H four upgrade. Test out this card. It's completely worthless. I don't know why you would use this unit. Still three pop unit, and it's like not near as good as a Reuter, pretty much. So I don't understand. Unless there's some secret upgrade I'm not knowing about. That's a terrible, terrible card. Uh, this is cool, so all the Dutch mercenaries will now build faster and move slightly faster. and uh, But all their other units will cost a tiny bit more, like 10%. So that'll be, you know, if you want to go mercenary build, that's more viable now as Dutch. Especially because now it enables Highlanders in barracks and barracks or horsemen and stables. So you'll be able to go pretty mainstream mercenaries now as Dutch, and you will have access to the to a musketeer in the barracks. So that's that's pretty cool overall. I really want to try that. Can't wait to test that out in an actual game. Um, but I do like that. Uh, nothing too big for Ethiopia. Shotel's got boost. That's cool. Other than that, we got British firearms. And I do like the 5%. It's now 5% not to heavy range cav, which is what it was. But now it's 5% to all ranged infantry. So that's biggest thing will probably be Neftenia's. Romo's Warriors got two pop now, and they got slightly, but they got slightly less hand attack and things like that. So I do like the Romo Warrior being two pop instead of three. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, right here. You can see that. Uh, population cost reduced to 2 from 3 and melee attack slowed down to 1.5. It does not mention the hand, how much the hand attack is or how much the hit points is. So that might be a really big buff. So best will put mortar. Overall, this is a good buff, but it's still going to be weak, I believe. Uh, for for like French and Germany, that special like allowing you access to the native or the royal houses, both those have been moved to age 1. So I think it's pretty good. Uh, Napoleonic era, both of these I don't think will affect any, or actually all three of these. Uh, you won't, I don't think that revolt is good for free for all or team games, so I don't think any of that will change any any way that's the play, the Napoleon revolt. Land war, um, it's good. Now they're better against range, light range cav, that's good. Uh, it talks about Landschnet being the, the, the H2 Landschnet are now cheaper. Like to send, obviously, due to them being a weaker unit now. That's the thing that got moved to age 1. Uh, now reduce which hammer? Okay, now reduce the population cost of outlaw tech units. I think that's a new. It sh ships like an Inquisitor, so that'll now. That's, that's pretty cool. You'll be able to go Inquisitor builds now as Germany. Will you? Is it the Inquisitor? I think it is. Hmm. That doesn't really affect anything. Now enables veteran landwares. Not sure what that did before. Oh, so I guess it'll automatically upgrade your landwares to age three. So you won't have to get like the crossbow upgrade for age three and then get landwares. Or whatever. So that that's nice. The 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 Prince Chevaliers or whatever they're called. I don't know how you say them. I don't think that'll change anything. I still don't think people use them in comp or late game because they're just not that great of a unit. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Uh just a nice little like like readability. How's Shoni? That's no difference really. How's that really no difference? Inca reduce pop. Jungle Bowman, yeah. Yeah, nothing really here I think will, will change much. I don't know why. Some of these are Nurse, so I'm not sure why you would give that to Inca. Inca does not need Nurse. But this is a buff. Guard Hussars instead of Veteran Hussars for that revolt. That's pretty sweet. You can do some damage for that with the Tupac Rebellion now. Indians, Rajputs are, I tested them and they're more, they're now more of a mix between rods and pikes, more, better siege, a lot better siege, and I think overall it is like a boost to hand, 
I think it's a booster world. They're, they're moving it more in line with other pikes. So I think I think it's pretty good. Um, more, less like rods and more like other pikes. Uh, that's just uh, whatever. That doesn't matter. Sepoys, melee. Their melee has been melee. Me melee? Melee? I say melee. Melee. Their melee has been increased a couple, but their range cat, their anti cavalry fire has been lessened. Uh, more in line with the Janissary, which is what they're modeled after, I think, in the game. Um, okay, so Sepoy is no longer age 5. Their Imperial upgrade is no longer 60%. It's only 50%. But the their age 4 card will increase damage and hit points by 10. Vessel Lingers no longer need a card or the age 5 upgrade, I mean. To get them to that 25% range resist. So I think that's good. A uh, couple new cards here. Where you know there's that one H2 card. That you like put in some gold. And gives you wooden food. But this this one's for food turning into gold and wood. And the second one's for wood turning, it, turning into gold and food. So that's fine. Um, that's one more Bosniak. Nothing really there. Big nerf there. 25% more resource from Treasure Guardians. The entire team instead of 100 I don't think anyone used that anymore. There is the nerf to steel bolts. Down from 16. That's that's a big nerf. It's like a 30, a little over 33% nerf. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Shrine wagons, that's fine. No longer approves shrine hit points, but increases their gathering by 5 and enables shrines to slowly repair themselves. So, that card won't increase their hit points anymore, but... Like, if you, like, don't get your... If your shrine doesn't die, obviously, it will slowly re rebuild. I think that's a nerf to Ashigaru. Both the hit points and the hand attack. I think that's pretty good with how good Ashigaru's range attack is. I think it's fine to nerf their hand attack some. Naginata down hit points. Oof, that's a loss. I'm not sure what that was, so it didn't matter that much. Sam the Samurai, no more tw five percent twice. Instead, that moved to the Sword Saint. So I think I think it's good. Not sure what Seven Lucky Gods is. So, um, I don't see people use dojos, so I'm not sure what the point of this is here. Added two percent penalty. Oh, that hurts. Now yeah, it'll hurt a lot more in mult as playing multis and free for alls to not get. Uh, your shipments near as fast, so that that hurts. I think new five home city. Uh, I mean five sentinels from the home city. I think that's good. Nerf to wagon fort probably needed. So the, I don't. They're only all they're doing. Yeah, I mean, they're literally just nerfing Malta. Malta didn't need. A nerf, especially in late game, I don't think. These are all nerfs. That really hurts. Except for the five sentinels, but other than that. Yeah, I don't think Malta will be near as playable anymore. Uh Cruise of Infantry just got corrected with their multipliers. It's fine. Uh none of these will really change anything. Uh bus gunners ranges us down. That's good. The bus gunners were Quite overpowered. Azap more in line with pikes now. Uh, Kos, Hambaraki, siege increased, and melee damage increased. I don't think the Hambaraki needed buffed, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. Imam, Cal's food now, that doesn't matter. Azap, no, that doesn't matter. Okay, now they have basically infantry chain time, so all your Ottoman infantry, 40% now. But the engineering school no longer affects bus uh, bus gunners and your grins. And the age 4 Janissary card no longer makes them build faster. So that will just send that one card to for all your infantry train times. <coughs> uh, cavalry archers for Ottomans should do 15% more attack. And this 5 9 is 15 build speed was just moved from an age 4 card to the age 3 multiplier against villager card. So not really any difference there. Um, the age four cheaper Janissaries now also applies to Hambarakis, Azaps, Nizam Fusers, and a Bus Gunners. So that's a 
pretty good buff, which I don't think, again, Ottomans needed late game. They're already very strong. Yeah, that's no longer in troop improves. See, that's a, that's a H4 one that makes them shoot instantly. No longer improves their train time, but increases their damage by 50%. Okay, so they did have a Team 4 card. Okay, I've been confused about this. I didn't know this was a card. But it's now moved to the Mosque, like using the, the, the fancy Mosque card. So that, that's that's neat. I like that. Uh, I did not know that was a thing, though. Melee armor by 10%. That's pretty good. Um, added a third unique Mosque technology. Yeah, there it is. Since four Spahis and improves heavy combat armor by 10%, upgrading Spahis into Capacula Spahis. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference there is, but whatever. Uh, 20 fuse Nizam Fuselers instead of 15. Okay, that might make that rush a little better. Uh, top two corpse. Three gate Lombards and, and their population cost is now decreased. So the Mosque Church card will be a lot more important now. Uh, that didn't really. That just makes the Azeths have more range. That's fine. Vitoria's no longer give trickle, but all their uh, resources are higher. Uh, that doesn't really matter. <coughs> okay, that's weird. Okay, so now Casadors will be H two when they're used in H two. Logistician now increase the range of Pike by plus point five down plus down from plus one. But uh, you'll still get an extra range on your crossbowmen and musketeers. Russians can now lose, reach 210 pop. That's good. Um, <coughs> this shouldn't cost any population spots, so that's what that problem was. Missionary classified as cavalry units, so fuselers will snipe them now. Soldado no longer affected by team musketeer grenadier hit points. I thought they already made that where it wouldn't do that, but that's okay. Pikes with this age 4 card will now gain 10% ranged melee resistance, so it's slightly tankier. Um, little nerf to that fast for that, that faster age up and cheaper age up in age 2. Okay, the Spanish fold is being worked on a little bit to make it come with mercenary shipments, that's fine. Swedes, range cavalry combat, blah blah blah. Torps being increased is big. Hackapels being more. They were had way too many different multipliers and stuff, so they kind of synchronized all those together, which is good. United States, Scottish immigrants still won't use that. This hurts the most for United States is <coughs> the Marines. Can be healed, which, I whatever, no one was healing them, so that didn't matter. But the siege damage has been halved. Oh, it's it hurts so much. You will barely, like, this. I test it, and, and the 50 siege is now, like, 20. It's yeah, now, like, 25. It's 25, and it just hurts so much. They basically took away the best part of Marines, and Marines still do 0.25 against Bills. If you're going to take away their siege, at least get rid of the 0.25 against Bills. Argentina Revolt. <coughs> Our under revolutions now. Hand Cavalry is cheaper. It's 20%. Uh, it's quite a nice boost, but it'll only be ever get age. You only ever get age four calves, so it'll help. It'll help like make up for the fact that you're only age four, but it really won't. It, you'll you won't be able to catch up with that. But I think adding cards like this is moving in the right directions with revolts. Uh, independence guards are now no longer quite as bad. They're only ten percent slower than. Uh, they're only ten percent slower than musketeers instead of twenty. That's good. Um, imperial dock upgrades. I like that for Grand Colombia. Good. It looks like a interesting water revolt. Indonesia part pikemen and revolutionaries fifteen twenty five percent. That's whatever. Proves the tax of cannon ships and building artillery by fifty percent. That's whatever. All that's really nothing. No, none of that really matters. Mexico revolt doesn't really change anything. I am pretty happy with a lot of these changes. I think some of them, like the Marine one, are going to ruin things at least somewhat. Um, I don't know why Aztec got changes to Eagle Runner Knight and things like that. 
But overall, I am pretty happy with what they did here. Um, especially with Dutch. I think Dutch needed a little spice up. And I hope that that, up, that uh, new card will do that. And I like the changes to Revolutions, even though I still hold that they need more. But other than that, I really like what's going on here. I like I like the way they're heading. I bet I'm still guessing we'll get more, um, <clears throat> more like cards and more things like that with the actual update instead of the PUP. But right now, I think this is this is pretty good. Um. Oh, one other thing that they don't mention here that is in the game is that a bunch of different Euro civs like Dutch, Germans, all of them, they have unique battleship cards that allow them to do like different unique things like the russian one does more damage and is cheaper but it like uh doesn't have as many hit points and things like that and the dutch one can blow up yeah it's legit like a, a exploding giant battleship which is pretty cool it's a pretty big explosion so that's fun um i don't know people thought this it seems like a big update, but honestly, a lot of these are just such slight changes that I don't think it'll be anything like, it's not that much new other than the Dutch one, honestly. Uh, I think the biggest difference will be the British and Dutch for, like, late game. Other than that, I'm not really seeing much else going on for the late game of other teams, except Maltese Heavy Nurse. Well, I hope, I hope I could... I did a good job going through this and looking at what I liked and disliked. Um, I think I'm going to try Nizam Fusler War Rush now that it'll be 20, 20 Nizam Fuslers with that mosque thing now instead of uh, 15. So that rush will be even stronger. But overall, I do like it.